Another step forward. Aren't you one of those adventurers hailed in Baldur's mouth? I should dearly like to see some of this rabble learn from your example. Bloody ridiculous. Some folk must live a charmed life if a child playing in the streets their greatest worry. Almost coming to blows over a pebble. What's this city coming to? Boulder's mouth was singing your praises, wasn't it? Not every day I meet someone famous. Aren't you one of those adventurers they write about? I can't read, but my father told me all about you. Nice reading about something positive for once. Saw you in the broadsheet. Makes a change from them fawning over Lord Gortash. Stand on your liver! It is stand and deliver, little fig. Though I think I like yours better. <laughs> You bellow like a true berserker. The commander said I only had to keep out bad ones. So you can pass. I'm not a little girl. I'm a warrior. Even I could have told you this was a silly thing to say. Surprise. Ah, oh, Mahler's Mark and Ambush. Are we quite sure she hasn't actually died this time, brother? She looks dead. Smells it too. Ooh. It has been a hard road. But I can clip you both around the ear to prove I am no ghost. If it would help. Forgive us, mother. We're just surprised you still know how to find your way home. Some battles, even Boo is not brave enough to fight. Ryan. A sending spell can carry 25 words. Do you know how many Jahira's only message contained in all this time she's been away? Seven. If you are trying to help me, please stop. The message went, I'm sorry, you know what to do. So why haven't you done it? You were supposed to get the young ones out of the city. And you were supposed to be dead. That's what your oh-so-stoic message meant, yes? Yet here you are. So, what happened out there? I got my skin saved by this one. We've come to take the fight to the cult. Which is exactly why you all cannot be here. Why? You plan on winning, don't you? You're the one who saved us, so tell me. Are we all doomed? Fine. Better in our home than quivering in some bush out in the cloakwood. You? are a very irritating girl. Uh-uh. This isn't your house, remember? You'll keep a civil tongue under our roof if we let you stay at all. Have mercy, sister. She's old, after all. So old! Seems I'm outvoted. See, mother? That is how you go about talking things through with your family. Now, if there's more to discuss, then bloody well come in and wipe your boots.
No arguing. Just tell me you're well. I... am well. And Minsk? Boo is also very well. And happy to see you, Ryan. And I him. Enough that I'll let him keep his lumbering, sweaty steed inside. So, this cult. What's our plan? I'm not fool enough to think I can change your mind. But if you're staying, I don't want you taking up arms. There are other ways to fight. Really? Like what? A fair point. Though I'll leave the herb law to Jord. I was always better at breaking bones than mending them. <laughs> I remember. The very reason Jord had so many patients to hone his craft on. If I have to stay home and babysit, then it's your job to make sure there's still a home to look after. Take what you need, and we'll do the grand reunion when you come back for good. So, lovely as it is to have you back, Mother. Go away. You have work to do. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait, one more thing. There are doppelgangers on our trail. One even went so far as to steal my face. Huh. All right, then. If you turn up looking for hugs and kisses, I'll be sure to shoot first. That's my girl. I take no responsibility for your plants. You know I'm more of a mushroom man. You've let my study turn into a thicket. Is this what I am hearing? I tended to it. I just let it thrive in its own independence. You know, same way you raised us. I raised you to be a sweet and kind boy. What happened? I watched what you did instead of listening to what you said. This house has taken in a lot of children over the years. Mother dear was sometimes more commander than, well, mother dear. I believe the phrase she preferred was, the fouler the fertilizer, the fairer the flower. Oh, so you do listen. I've only ever seen her truly angry once. We were down the market when I was about nine years old. Some merchant started in with the usual. Yes, but where's your family? Whose son are you, really? When Mother was done with him, well, let's say he won't have any sons of his own to worry about. Hmm. Nature's law in action. to you, sir. Are you known to this court? Crude manners, but you speak well enough for a peasant. Jessam discovered an old family tree in my study. We haven't had a moment's peace since. Tetherian nobility. You might be royalty, Jahira. You don't want to be queen, of course, and Ryan curses too much, so it would have to be me. Careful, girl. They have a habit of taking against tyrants there. Huh. I'm not a tyrant. If anyone calls me one, I'll have Fig chop their head off. Hmm. What's that? I hope you were hibernating, little cub. I can't think of another reason you wouldn't come down to say hello. Jahira! I d d d didn't w want to see if you were really dead. They said... Who said? Jord and Ryan. They didn't think I c c could hear 
You little sneak thief. Well, they were wrong. Look! Not dead. I just... had a few adventures. Like, uh... Really? Really? Now, Cub. Solitude is a wonderful thing, but not too much. Come downstairs and fight with your sisters. Wait. Here. I was... K keeping this safe. My Harper pin. Oh, was a certain little sneak thief playing down in my sanctuary? N n no, no, no. Opens more doors than most. Come down to my study. Figure it out. Hmm. What's that? Pay no mind to those. You're probably safe so long as I am here. But if you do not trust me, take the weight from the pressure plate there. Have no fear. The traps aren't meant for you. But, uh... There ought to be supplies here to aid us. The arch druid's eyes and ears have fallen away in her absence. I am training new ones. Down by the blushing mermaid, there's a stink of something fey. Smell of ass, too. But boss doesn't care about that. I bring word of gnomes. Gnomes in the sea. There's been killings in a holy place. Sticks of incense and blood. Keen eye. But if it's supplies you seek, weapons to aid in our fight, you won't find them behind that door. There is nothing back there of worth to anyone but me. Oh, you need not apologize. I only seek to spare you some disappointment. On my word, all you will find inside is dust and the moldering keepsakes of a much younger woman. Jahira, our friend has put their trust in us. Boo thinks it is only right to return the gesture, no? You so rarely make a habit of being right, Ranger, that it puts me ill at ease when you are. Pass then. Go on. See what it is a foolish old Harper thinks worth hiding away. Open up.
Here is old weapons. They look strong as ever. Minsk should know. They gave him many bruises over the years. The cub speaks. Hmm. I have given you much reason to think that Harpers hoard secrets like precious stones, but I promise you, this was not some intrigue. Just, uh, plain and simple foolishness. As if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. And if this fight were to go against us, well, we had already done their mourning. Why visit it on them twice? Of course I was. <laughs> you met her, did you not? The girl had opinions before she had teeth. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. They're Baldurian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh! That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. Ask it. Always nice to be one dead. Nothing hurts anymore. The cub speaks. Ask it. The work is never done. Is that blood? No, never mind. Never wanted the easy path. Right of the timeless body. What's that about? The best. Of the cub speaks. Ah. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? It is a ritual, or it describes one at least, practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. In greener days, I might have been strong enough to do it. I might be yet, with the right preparations. Oh, you really think I'm pretty? Just a moment while I remember how to bat my eyelashes. Do not look at me like that. I have been content to see the span of my natural years. A privilege far too few in this world can claim. I do not speak of clinging to life for its own sake, I just... ...look back on that life's work and I wonder... <sighs> ...is it done? The dead three plague the world still. The city still falls prey to small minds like Gortash or lost souls like Orin. It is every Harper's hope to be a light that drives out darkness. But I've lived long enough to see so many of those lights burn out while the shadows cling stubbornly on. <sighs> Knowing that, 
isn't it our duty to burn on if we can? To fight for as long as we are able? Minsk does not understand the question. You will live forever, Jahira. Of course I will, Berserker. And you will sprout soft and golden locks from that shining skull. In truth, I had put this ritual from my mind. Until last light. Trapped in that darkness. I turned to my research again. What if I was a little stronger? As fast as I once had been. Then you came. And made the question moot. But I kept this. Just in case, I told myself. A final resort. Perhaps you were not the savior you seemed. <laughs> I had learned better than to... ...think of life as some... ...simple tale after all. There is no guarantee of happy endings... ...or true heroes. I believe that still. But when I look on all that we have achieved since... ...I wonder perhaps it is not heroes we need. Only people who are willing... ...to try. I do not know what manner of story that makes. But I do know... ...that without an ending... ...it would be no story at all. So I will accept mine. When and however it comes. As for this city story... ...well... ...well... ...that is entirely your problem now, Cub. I have no plans to lie down and die. Well... ...perhaps a little lying down... ...when all of this is done. But I do not plan on going anywhere just yet. And besides, you still have a tadpole in your skull. You are almost certainly going to die first. Ask it. Jahira littering the streets in broad daylight. I swear, sometimes it is as if she does not care for this city at all. Thank you for looking out for her. Now bring her back alive. She's too old for any heroic death nonsense. Commander! Spare me your salutes, little traitor. You walked me right into that ambush. Sorry, Commander. You are my Commander, but George promised me pies. Huh. I can't fault your priorities. You'll look after them for me? Can I have a real sword? No. Hmm. Fine. So, Jahira is willing to embrace mortality, the ultimate form of retirement, and that's thanks to impressing her through your actions. Quite the compliment. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Make sure you are refreshed, but truly. But you have... Uh... A hero of legend. Passing the figurative torch onto us. We'd best not disappoint her. The thought of a scolding from Jahira's ghost is not one I particularly relish. 
Jahira has steel in her, I'll say that. It's not easy to walk away from immortality. Most people will have held on to that scroll for as long as they could bear to, and probably a century or two longer than that. 